In this video, I explain main component of thermal power plant and their function. So first we understand the function of boiler. It is a closed pressure vessel in which water is converted into a steam with the help of heat produced by burning of coal. Means boiler is one pressure vessel in which we burn the fuel okay burn the fuel means as a fuel generally all the power plants the coal is used okay we are used some other fuels like as a wood and some waste are also used nowadays okay and this heat energy produced by the burning of coal is supplied to water and the water is converted into the steam so this is the basic functions of the boiler the modern high pressure boiler are all water tube boiler in which water flow through the tubes and the gas flow across the tubes means nowadays the high pressure boilers are used and all the high pressure boilers are the water tube boiler water tube means the water is passed inside the tubes and the gases are passed outside the tubes it is called as the water tube boiler the high pressure boiler contain separate set of tubes which constitute heat exchangers as a flow okay in a high pressure boiler the separate set of tubes are provided means separate heat exchangers are provided okay so there is a four types of the heat exchangers are provided it's called as the economizers air preheaters superheater and the reheaters okay so in a boilers we are categorized other four components so first we understand about the superheaters so what is the functions of superheater superheater is installed after the boiler okay means the steam coming out from the boiler is supplied to the superheater okay and in the superheater what happen rise the temperature of steam above its saturation temperature it is called as the superheater means it is used to superheat the steam that's why its name is given the superheater the superheater is located at the hottest part of the boiler so that heat is transferred to the steam by superheater from a hot gases another is the reheater so from the name what we what you understand reheat again okay that's why its name is given the reheater so it is used to rise the temperature of steam after its expansion in a high pressure turbine so after reheating the steam is supplied to the low pressure steam turbine okay so in a turbine there is a different part is there okay that we understand during the topic in this video that is a steam turbines okay so in a steam turbine there is a three region is there high pressure intermediate and the low pressure okay so after this high pressure region we can heat the steam again okay that's why its name is given the reheater and then after it is supplied to the low pressure steam turbines or intermediate pressure steam turbines now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to the power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for more video i request to visit the playlist even the link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card another part is the economizer the function of economizer is to increase temperature of feed water using the waste heat of a flue gas leaving the boiler through chimney means economizer is used to heat the feed water okay means first the water is supplied in economizers in economizer temperature of the water is increased and then after this high temperature water is supplied to the boilers okay earlier we study about the two component that's the superheaters and the reheater okay they are used to heat the steam so here this economizer economizer is used to heat the water okay means they are installed before the boiler means first water is entered in economizer in economizer temperature is increased and then it is supplied to the boiler so it is located before air preheaters and after superheaters and reheater in the part of the flue gases means the exhaust gas coming out from the boiler is passed first it is passed from the superheaters then it is passed from the economizer and then after it is passed from the air preheaters okay so this sequence that we study in a layout of the thermal power plants just here we understand the functions of the plants okay just for, forget about this location about the location we discuss in the layout in the details and the fourth heat exchanger that is used with the boiler it is air preheaters okay so from the name you 
can understand it is used to heat the air and the here preheater what is mentioned preheater means it is air is supplied to this boiler for the combustion okay but we heat the air before supplying to this boiler means it is a preheating process is that that's why its name is given the air preheater so function of air preheater is to increase the temperature of air okay so according to name it is used to increase the temperature of air before why this before word is put it before here the pre word is mentioned okay so instead of pre we can also use the before words so before it supplied to the furnace using the heat from the flue gases passing through chimney now the next component is the steam turbine okay so in a thermal power plant the generally four main components are there one is the boiler then turbine condensers and the pump okay so in a boiler other four part we can understand with the boiler there are four part is used that is the superheaters reheaters economizer and air preheaters now next part is the steam turbines so function of the steam turbine is to convert the heat energy of a steam into a mechanical energy means in a form of the rotational power okay so what is a turbine is the one type of prime movers that you already study in a bme subject in first semester so in a turbine the heat energy is converted into a mechanical energy means it is the rotational energy in a modern thermal power plant the steam turbine generally has a three cylinder tandem compound machine consist of high pressure state cylinder means in a turbine three stage are there okay first stage is the high pressure state cylinder means it's called as the hp second one is the intermediate pressure stage and the third one is the low pressure stage okay so in short they are known as the hp ip and the lp hp means high pressure ip means intermediate pressure and lp means low pressures another component is the generator the functions of generator is to convert mechanical power of a turbine shaft into the electrical energy means this generator is coupled with the turbine okay so turbine is produce mechanical energy this mechanical energy is supplied to the generators and generator is convert this mechanical energy into the electrical energy another component is the condenser so in a condenser which process is going on in a condenser the condensation process is going on okay so condenser is generally one type of the heat exchangers okay so in a heat exchanger that is a different process is possible so in a heat exchanger either we perform the condensation process either we perform evaporation process or either we just follow the sensible heating or the sensible cooling okay but why here its name is given condenser because they are perform condensation process what is the meaning of condensation condensation means the steam is converted into the water okay means vapor is converted into the liquid state it is called as the condensation process so what is condenser condenser is one type of heat exchanger in this heat exchanger we perform the condensation process that why this heat exchanger name is given the condenser okay and condensation means the steam is converted into a water so condenser is a heat exchanger consist of large cylindrical vessel and in this large cylindrical vessel there is a number of brass tube is there okay which means through the cool uh, through these tubes cooling water is circulated and the steam is flowing outside the surface of tubes okay means in a one vessel number of brass tube is there and inside this brass tube we supply this cooling waters and the steam is flow outside these tubes and this steam is condensed means steam is converted into the water another component is the cooling tower so what is the functions of cooling tower the functions of cooling tower is to cool the hot water coming out from the condenser okay so in a condenser what we study we are supplying the cooling water okay so this cooling water absorb the heat energy from the steam okay so we again need to reduce this temperature of the cooling water means for reducing this temperature of the cooling water we need to use the cooling tower okay so functions of the cooling tower is cool the hot water coming out from the condenser in the cooling tower the hot water is cool with the help of atmospheric air another component is the feed water pump it is used to supply feed water to the boiler at a desired pressures okay so in a boiler we are not supplying the water at the atmosphere pressures but we need to increase the pressure of water and then after they are supplied to the boilers okay so feed water pump is used to increase the pressure of 
feed water pump. Another component is the circulator, circulating water pump. So it is used to circulate cooling water in the condensers and cooling tower closed circuits. I mean circulating water pump is used to circulate the cooling water in a condensers and the cooling towers. Another component is the, is the call handling plant. So from the name we can understand the one plant used for the transferring the call from the storage to the boiler it is called as the call handling plant. So for the call handling plant various three components are used. Okay, So first component is called as the wagon triplers. So it is used to unload the call when the call is transported to the plant side by the rail wagons. Okay, So generally you see in these railway stations that the call wagons are there. Okay, Call wagons are processed. So this call is transferred from the call mines to the different thermal power plants. Okay, So in a thermal power plants are also connected with the railway lines. Okay, So call is transferred through the railway lines. It is called as the wagons. Okay, So every coach of these trains are called as the wagons. In these wagons the calls are filled. So how these the wagons are empty? For emptying these the wagons, they use the wagon tripler mechanisms. Okay, so they are rotate these wagons to the 180 degree completely by using these wagon tripler mechanisms, and the call is unloaded to the sides. Then after second component is used as the crusher house. So it is used to crush a coil to a size of 10 mm. Means they are used to reduce the size of the call. Okay, and after reducing the size, the call is supplied to the boiler row call hunkers and then after third component is the call mill so it is used to pulverize the raw coil into a fine powder so in a call mill what happen we convert this 10 mm call into a fine powder okay and then after they are supplied to the boiler furnace another component is the draught system the functions of the draught system is to create the pressure difference which is required to introduce desired quantity of air to the boiler furnace and to carry away the burnt product of combustion and discharge to the atmosphere. Okay. So we need to supply this air for the proper combustion in the boiler furnace. Okay. Without the air, the combustion of the fuel is not possible. Okay. So how this air is supplied to these boilers? So in the boiler furnace, we are supplying the air by using the fan. Okay. So fan are rotated and this fan is create the pressure difference. Okay, so there is a two types of the draught systems are there. One is the ID and the FD. Okay, what is the meaning of FD? FD means force draft fan. Okay, so here the draft filling is wrong. Instance of air, there is a D is there. Okay, so force draft fan. In short, it is written as the FD. So FD fan is placed in a front of boiler, and it is used to push the air for the air preheaters and then the furnace of boiler. Means force draft fan is push the air towards the boiler okay means they suck the air from the atmospheres and then push towards the boiler furnace it is called as the force draft and in a induced draft what happen induced draft is called as the id fan so id fan is placed near the base of chimney and it draw the flue gases through the interior of the boiler and the dust extracting equipments and force the flue gases through the throw the chimney means they are suck means they are draw the flue gases okay they are not push but they are pulled the, okay so in a fd fan what we mentioned they push there okay but in id fan they pull means they draw the flue gases now the next component is the s respirators so function of s respirator is to remove a fly ash and the dust particles from the flue gases before this escape into the atmosphere through the chimney to avoid the air pollution. Okay, so in earlier times the S respirators are not used, so that is a fly as are also go to the atmospheres and the air pollutions are created. Okay, but nowadays in a chimney that is a S respirator components are fitted. Okay, so in air S respirator function is to remove the fly as and the dust particles. Next component is the chimney. So it is a ferro concrete structure lined with fire bricks and it is used to escape the flue gases to atmosphere at 30 meter above the ground. Okay, means it is used to escape the flue gases to the atmosphere. 
Another component is the water treatment plant. The function of water treatment plant is to remove impurities of water before water supply to the boilers. Okay, so we know that in the boiler we supply this water, and if we are not removed these impurities from the waters, then water is create the number of problems to the boiler. That's why we are also require the water treatment plant to remove the various impurities. Another component is the switch air. So these are the one electrical component. Okay, it is not a mechanical components. So when the electricity is produced, they supply to the switch air, switch air, and from the switch air they further supplied. This switch air houses means they consist of transformer, circuit breakers, switches for connecting and disconnecting the transformer and circuit breakers. means in a switch yard there is a number of component one is the transformer circuit breakers and the various switches the electricity generated by the 11 kv generator it step up by unit transformer to 130 or a 220 kilowatt for the further transmission through the high tension lines and fit to the regional grids okay means electricity produced by the generator have a 11 kv okay and before transmitting to the high grid lines we need to convert means we need to step up why this step up what is used because this value is increase okay from 11 kv to 132 kv oblique that 220 kv okay so india that is a 220 kv line is there okay 130 is used in some foreign countries that's why here the step up is step up what is used and the last component is the control room so from the name you already no there is meaning of control room the control room house all the necessary measuring instrument for each panel of generators okay so they are house necessary measuring instrument means they are measure the various parameters of the various devices like as the generators feeder synchronizing gear protective gear automatic voltage regulators communication arrangements okay means they are measures the performance or the sum of the parameters for these various devices the performance of all the plant equipment is continuously monitor here with the help of sophisticated instrumentations and controls means by using the various instruments and by using the various control the performance of all the equipments of the plants are monitor from the one place and this place is called as the control room so here we are studying the majority components of the thermal power plant so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and share with your friend